Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. As you can see, I'm on my way down to the marina and we're on the way to the boat. And that only means one thing, we're turbot and brill fishing today. There was a memory that came up on my Facebook, four, and it said four years ago. I had three turbot, biggest up just over nine pounds. So hopefully we can do that again. We're gonna be heading to the south coast of Sark to a sandbank called Bank de la Godin. I went turbot fishing yesterday and we went up to Bank de Nord and I had one small turbot. I'll give you a glimpse of that video right now, guys, so you can see it, because it weren't enough to make a video. Check the size of that, guys. Absolutely tiny. Look at that, it's just as big as my hand. It's absolutely tiny, guys, absolutely tiny. There's the fantastic turbot. It's far too small for us. There's no keeping that one, so we're gonna get a release of it. Back it goes, guys. Whoa, straight back down. And yeah, that one small turbot, I don't think I've ever caught a turbot so small. So yeah, it was a nice trip, but we didn't have that much fish, guys. So hopefully we can get a few more at Bank de la Godine today. So I ain't gonna mock around. I'm gonna get down to the boat. I hope you enjoy this one, guys. Let's get straight to it. Let's get down to the vessel and start heading out there. Let's go. What a day today it is, guys. It is flat out. It is absolutely flat out. Tides are perfect. Everything's in our favor for turbot. Let's go get them. Turbot and brill. So, guys, there's the boat. We're going to get all the fuel on board, get it all rigged up, get the engine down and start making our way out. So guys, the boat's all warmed up. That only means one thing. Cue the music. Let's start heading to these turbot grounds and go get these elusive flatfish. Let's go. Guys, we've just got to the sandbanks. So I'm just going to get the feathers down. What a crossing that was! It's absolutely flat calm. So I'm just going to get down, see if we can get any feather, uh, see if we can get any sand eels or mackerel. Because as you know, I don't bring any bait up, so we always just feather our bait up whenever we come turbot fishing. So hopefully, we can hook into a few fish. Hopefully, we can get some mackerel or sand eels. That'll be ideal. So yeah, I'll get these down, and hopefully, I'll bring you back when we get some fish. Well, guys, we've got something on here. I reckon it's a sand eel, and it is. Get it in. Beautiful. Nice sand deal there, we'll get straight back down. Hopefully we'll hook into a few more. I just need to get a bit of bait so then we can get the hooks down and hopefully get a few turbos. There's not a lot of tide here, so it's perfect at the moment. So I want to try and get a couple of baits and get these bottom rods down. Yep, we're on. Yep, sand deal's on. That's nice guys, we can get some bottom lines out now got enough for two rods hopefully it stays on and uh, yeah get these bottom lines down hopefully get a turbot another sand deal beautiful but well, that's good we've got two bits of bait there fantastic the turbot love the green sand deals yep we're on fish on guys we've got a couple here I think you beauty that's what we want the sand deals that's good, I was a bit worried that we weren't gonna get no bait off here. That's the only problem when you don't bring no bait. One or two, one big one. He's all wrapped off, he weren't coming off. He beauty. 
Right guys, I'm going to head up there now. We're going to get a couple of these sand eels on. I'll show you how I flapper them. And then, uh, yeah, get them on the rods. I'll show you the setup, get them down, hopefully get a few turbos. Let's get them. So guys, just a show of how I do my sand eels. So what I've done is, with these fresh sand eels, I've stunned them, and then what I've done is I've filleted them. I've left the backbone in this one to, so you can see what it looks like. I just fill it both fillets off, and then I'll pull that backbone out, and it'll be left like that one there, guys. Fantastic bait, two flappy bits of bait. Turbot can't resist that, flapping away. Fantastic, so we're gonna get those on the rods, guys. Eight ounce leads we're gonna be using to keep it on the bottom, and hopefully we can get a few of these elusive flatfish. These seagulls are waiting for their feed from the sand eels. Fish on, don't know what it is. Doesn't feel too, too heavy, to be honest, so. Um, I don't know. Don't want to call it. Definitely a bit of weight there, though. Hopefully it's a fish. Doesn't feel too heavy, to be fair, so. Definitely something. It's a turbot. It's only a small one, guys, but we got it. Beautiful. Fine little turbot, that. Check that out, guys. Beautiful hookup. It's a bit small for what we want really you know you're not going to get much off of that so we will we, we will be releasing this fish it's another small fish guys i had one up back bank the as well yesterday which is a lot smaller than that but check the hookup fantastic that's our first turbot guys on the sand banks beautiful first drift can't beat that we just need them about 10 times bigger than that beautiful check the coloration and the patterns guys fantastic beautiful brilliant white underneath they are a lovely looking fish guys they are fantastic Big males on them. That was a 6-0 hook. It's only a small fish. Check that out. No problem, guys. So, yeah. Fantastic. We'll get a release of that for you, guys. Woo! One down. Let's get some biggers. So, guys, first turbot. Like I said, we're going to release this one. It's far too small. We want a lot bigger than that. So, we want 10 times the size of that. So, should get a beautiful release of this and this fine water. Ready? And off he goes. Ready? Go on. Look at that. Beautiful. Look shaking his head and straight back down to the depths look at him he's just drifting down fantastic let's go get some more so guys i was just feathering getting some sand eels and check check this out look at the size of that mackerel that's huge that mackerel is huge We might. Could be the bank or it could be a fish. No, it's just the bank. Just the bank, guys. False alarm. Oh, I thought we had a fish before. Anyway, let's fillet that mackerel up, get that down. Hopefully we can get some brill and some big turbo with those fillets. Let's get to it. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. I'm not sure guys, there's a bit of weight here. I'm not sure if it's a fish or not. Um, not very big if it is guys. One small turbot so far. We want one a lot bigger. Let's have a look. Is there anything here? No, it's just the bait spinning, guys. Oh, we got a shell. There you are. We caught a shell. Not what we want. Let's go down for another drift, guys. Let's get these turbot. Bit of weight here, guys. Not sure. Oh, there could be something there. I'm not sure, though. Not 100%. And I don't want to say what. That's for sure, but... Probably find out it's a bit of seaweed or something, guys. We're at one o'clock now. We've been up here four hours. 
All we've had is one small turbot, one big giant mackerel, and a couple of small sand eels. Oh yeah, this don't feel like anything now, guys. Oh, we've got a dogfish. He's not even there. Uh... There you are, guys, look. He's not even taking the hook, he's just sat on the bait. That ain't what we want, but he will be pot bait, so let's go up for another drift. Guys, it's one o'clock. Uh, we're still up here at Bank to the Godine. I've just pulled the rods up, and instead of going for another drift, we're gonna head to a different sandbank, which is situated on Guernsey's southeast coast, and hopefully we can get a few turbot there, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the ride there. It's gonna be a short little trip, and let's get to it. Let's see if we can get some of these elusive flatfish. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, we've made it up St. Martin's Point. I've got both rods out. Hopefully, we can get an elusive turbot down here, guys. This is where I've had my biggest turbot of 18 pounds. We're on St. Martin's Point on the Guernsey southeast coast, and hopefully, we can hook into these fine flatfish. Let's get them. So, guys, as you can see, I'm no longer at St. Martin's Point. There was nothing going on whatsoever. We didn't have no bites, nothing. So, what I've done is I've come to the rocks here where my lobster pots are and my crab pots. We're going to pull the lobster and crab pots, guys, and hopefully we can get a few lobsters. Let's get them. First string, guys. Let's see what we got in these pots. Some two nice crabs in that first pot, guys. I'll show you them in a minute. Second pot's not so good, guys. I'm going to quickly show you while you're in the mouth. So, this pot, small spider crab, and then we've got two keeper spiders, guys. But that is it. But they're nice crabs. They're a nice stamper crab. So that's one. And that's two. I'm going to have to just get out of the way here, guys. Just uh, in the rocks here. We've actually got a third. But that one's going to be too small. So I'm going to plate these back out, guys. We'll get on to the next set. Let's get some lobsters. Let's get on to the next string, guys. Very close to the rocks here, guys. Very close. This one's hitched. We're hooked. I don't know what the string's caught on, guys, but we've lost the smash pot. Alright, gonna have to leave this one. Come back to it another day. Let's get onto the ink wells. I'm gutted about that string, guys. The smash pot has snapped off, and the other one's hitched. We'll have to see if we can get JP on him. Damn it, it's no good when you're losing gear like that, guys. It's like 70, 80 quid a pot. All the rope's still there, it's just you haven't got the pot. Ugh. So, guys, the ink wells are up. Too small, too small, too small. That's a keeper. Those are the size you want, guys. That's a nice crab. Small little lobster in there. That's going to be too small in the inkwell. Small spider. And another small spider. In the second pot, guys. Spider. It's not a bad one at all. Another spider. It's got to stick into reverse. Too small. Too small. And too small, guys. So I'm going to bake these ink wells up, shame about the smash pot, and get onto these next six sets over the other side. Let's get them. Let's get onto that next set, guys.
So guys, we ain't very good in this one neither. I was expecting lobsters. It's gonna be a bad day. Male and female producing there, as you can see. Making babies. That's it. Second pot. One small brown edible crab. And one small spider crab. So I'm gonna bake these up and get them back out, guys. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Not very good today guys and the pot's very poor. First pot, small lobster, far too small. Small brown edible crab and a spider crab. Not a lot guys and in the second pot we got nothing, literally nothing. So I'm going to bake these up get onto the next set. I ain't expecting a lot of lobsters today with this first string. This, don't know what's going on. Let's go. So guys, we've got a few spiders in here. Big female, we don't want that. Nice male spider there guys, be having that one. Another nice little male there. Be having him as well. We've got a fair few in this one guys, it's full. So too small. Too small, too small, that's not a bad crab, and that's definitely not a bad crab, those are the ones you want, that size guys, giant spider crabs, fantastic, and one more smaller one, not very good, so I'm going to bake these up and get them to the next set. Get on to that next set. We're very close to the rocks here, guys. So guys, this string, small lobster there. Not worth keeping whatsoever. Back that goes. And a small little spider crab. Up to the first pot. Second pot. Nothing to keep here guys. Spider. 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 Another spider. Brown edible crab and another brown edible crab. That's it, guys. That's it. We've got one more string to do. Let's get on it. Last set's coming, guys. Let's hope for those lobsters.
show you what's in the pots, guys. It's quite a lot. So, guys, first string. Nice looking lobster there. We're going to have to gauge that. That might just be a little bit too small. But we'll gauge it in a minute and have a look, guys. Spider crab there. That's no good. Another spider crab and a brown edible crab. Not the best. Not the best, guys. But check this second pot out. Ready? That's a nice pot. Check that out, guys. Giant spider crabs. So we got one. That's too small. That's a keeper. Two. That's a keeper. Look at that. It's all bungled up. That's too small. That might be a keeper lobster as well. That could be another keeper there. We're going to measure that. And there's also another one at the back. There's a big spider crab stuck. He's so big, he's stuck, guys. See if we can get him out. He's so big. There we go. Another beauty of a spider crab. Giant spider crabs. Those are the giants we want, guys. Those are the giants we want. We've got another lobster there. I think he's going to be too small. But I'm going to give him a gauge, guys. I'll put you back in the mount and we'll see what ones are keepers, if any. Just measured all the lobsters. All three of them were all undersized, guys. So I'm going to play these back out and start making our way in. Let's do it. Let's start making our way in, guys. So guys, thanks for tagging along again another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We went out turbot fishing. We had one turbo werbo, a little bit too small, so we chopped it back. And then we went and did the crab pot. A few small lobsters, but a lot of big uh, spider crab, guys. Big, giant spider crab. But not very good on the turbot front, but that's fishing, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this channel, make sure you hit that like button, guys, on the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell so you never miss one of these fishing notifications. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for coming. See you next time.